You know you got to marry him. It's the law. Yeah, right. But this is what he's saying. He's saying be faithful unto death. How are you going to make a law contrary to God? That's what they did with Daniel. He said, you can't pray to God for nobody for 30 days. Daniel, when he saw that new law, he said, mm-hmm, right. He went home, went right the way he usually prayed. Face Jerusalem, too. Face Jerusalem, where they could see him. Face Jerusalem and start praying. Read Daniel 6 chapter. Pray three times a day like he'd been. They went, grabbed him, took him to the king, said, look, we had this new law. He broke it. The king didn't want to, but he had to put Daniel in the lion's den. But Daniel was faithful. He didn't die. The Lord saved him, but he could have died just as well. He still wasn't going to do it. Daniel didn't know for sure that the Lord was going to save him in there, but he was going to obey the Lord to death. That's what he means here. Read it again. Verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Uh -huh. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, uh -huh. that ye may be tried. You're going to go through a trial. Go ahead. And you shall have tribulation ten days. That's okay. Do what? Be thou faithful unto death, uh -huh. and I will give thee a crown of life. See, you're going to die anyway. You might as well be faithful to God while you're doing it. Be faithful unto death, and the Lord going to give you a crown of life. But did you hear that? Verse 11. He that ha hath the ear, let him hear. Everybody not going to hear, right? But he that got an ear, let him hear what? What the Spirit saith unto the church. Uh-huh. He that overcomes shall not be hurt of the second He keeps death. saying that because he know everybody don't have ears to hear what he's saying. Skip to verse 15. So has, so has thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, Nicolaid, uh -huh. Nicolaitans which, think, which think I hate. See, he said you got them that hold the doctrine. See, it's false teaching. All this false teaching that's in the world now, Christmas and Easter don't have nothing to do with Jesus. You worshiping the goddess and Christmas trees and decorating trees. You don't know you worshiping false gods and goddesses. And the Lord hate that, but it come from a source. It came from these Nicolaitans way back in the day, which is still the Roman Empire. So has thou them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Jesus said, I hate that, so you need to do what? 16. Repent, uh -huh. or else I will come unto thee quickly, mm -hmm. and I will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. See, the organ player can't play nothing with that, so the preacher don't read nothing like this. How are you going to play something with Jesus saying, repent, or else I'm going to come quickly and fight? Whoever told you Jesus is going to come fight you because you won't do right? I'm going to fight them with the sword of my mouth. Go ahead. He that hath an ear, let him hear. Oh, he keeps saying that. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the, what? What the Spirit saith unto the church. Uh-huh. To whom that overcome will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white, st a white stone, mm -hmm. and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth but, it. But you got to listen to what he's saying, and you got to endure and overcome. He keeps saying that too. He that overcometh, he that overcome. He that have an ear, let him hear, and he that overcometh. He that have an ear, let him hear. And he that overcome it. Verse 26. Let's see if we get it again. This will be the fourth time in this chapter. Go ahead. And he that overcome it. Oh, he that overcome it again. Go ahead. And keep it my works until the end. Wait a minute. They told you you ain't got to do no works. And this is exactly what you got. Only Satan will straight up lie and defy God like that. And you listening to it. This is in Revelation, the last book in the Bible. And we go to church tomorrow. Ask Preach at one of these Sunday churches. Do we got to do any works, Pastor? Did you, Jesus do it all? Most of them say Jesus did it all. But Jesus said, He that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. To him what? And oh, 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nation. And he going to do what? And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Uh huh. As the vessels of a potter, they. Shall, shall they be broken to a shiver, uh -huh. even as I received of my father. So we're going to rule on the earth if we overcome, not up in heaven. Go ahead. And I will give him the morning star. But now what? He that have the ear. He, he ear. that have an ear. Everybody ain't got ears for this. Some, some of this go over their head. Oh, what are you talking about? They ain't making no sense. No, it's a parable to you. This is a parable to a lot of people, the stuff we read. Because they don't want to get with, they don't want to hear the word. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. One more time. Now go to the third chapter, 3 and 5. 3 and 5, and we're going to pick it up a couple of more times. Go ahead. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white rain. Still, you got to overcome. He's giving you a message. Go ahead. And I will not blot out his name out of the, out of the book. If anybody life. tell you they won't blot your name out the book of life, Jesus saying that, that means 
Somebody can get blotted. Ain't no need to say, I won't blot your name out. That's why people talking about they saved. I tell them all the time, you ain't saved. The best you can do is be walking, trying to get saved. You ain't made it to the finish line. How you going to say you saved? See, you could be doing right. I'm, I know I'm doing what I can, trying to do the best I can to serve God. I know that. But I don't think that I can't still end up in a lake of fire because I know I can go back at any time and start acting crazy and get cast away. Paul told you that. So I'm not dumb enough to think, oh, I got it made. Because when you think you get it made, then you relax. You think you got it already. So if you had it already, Look, you could be doing good. You could, uh, your name can be in the book of life and you could mess up the Lord or put an ink blot on it. Blot it out. Now, they was doing good for a while, but now they done went, they done went south. Whoop. All of a sudden, your name disappeared. You know it could happen because he said right here, he that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white room. And I would not blot out his name out of the book of life. That means that somebody going to get blotted. Somebody can get blotted. Who going to get blotted? Somebody that don't overcome. Because that's what's going to keep you from getting blotted, right? So it only stands to reason he that don't overcome will get the blotted. Right? He said, I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. That means he will to somebody that don't do what they need to do. Don't stay the course. Go ahead. But I will confess his name before my father. Go ahead. And before his angels. Uh-huh. So what? He that have an ear. Oh, here you go again. He that hath an ear. Go ahead. Let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the church. You need to hear this. And this is some good stuff he's telling you to hear. But everybody not going to listen. They still think it sounds like a parable to him. Verse 11. Go ahead. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, uh -huh. that no man take thy crown. See, that's why you got to overcome. You got to stay the course. Once you get this word, you hear it, you got to stay with it. And he coming quickly, but before he come, hold fast what you had. Don't let nobody take it because Satan going to try to mess you up along the way. He going to put all kind of trips, pitfalls, and stumbling blocks in your way to mess you up. Go ahead. Him that overcometh will oh, I make again, a pillow. Him that overcometh will I make a pillow in the temple of my God. But you got to overcome to do that, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And he shall go no more out. Mm -hmm. And I will write upon him the name of my God. Uh -huh. And the name of the city of my God. Uh -huh. Which is New Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Which cometh down out of heaven from my God. Uh -huh. And I will write upon him my new name. See, he's going to write upon his, his new name. People worried about how you say Jesus' name. Now, nah, look, don't worry about it. He's going to give you a new name here. So I ain't got to worry about I got to say, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I got to say, I got to say, Yashua, I got to say this, Yeshua. No, don't, don't even worry about it. He said, I will write upon him my new name. Verse 13, though. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Again, do you got an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches? He that hath an ear, let him do so. Verse 19, and this is it. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Oh, see, the Lord going to... He going to bring some drama on you too. But that's because he loves you. You know, you whoop a child for doing wrong so you can spare them. You can save them from trouble in the long run and make them better. As many as I love, the Lord said, I rebuke and I chastise. That's what chasing mean. Go ahead. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. You got to use that to get your act together. You doing wrong, the Lord will whoop you like a parent whooped, whooped a child to correct you. That's good. I, I rebuke and I chasten, you be zealous and re therefore and repent. Just change your wicked ways. And ultimately, I'm what? 10, 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Uh -huh. If any man hear my voice and open the door. Wait I a minute. The Lord say stand at the door. People act like the Lord going to make them do something. The Lord just going to do it all. Look, this lesson is showing you, you got to do it. Here, here, here. And be careful what you hear. You got to hear the right thing. And once you hear it, you got to accept it. And you got to do it. Don't just be a hearer, but a doer. So he said, he stand at the door and knock. Notice the Lord won't even come into your mind. That's the door he knocking at. He's not outside your living room or your house knocking. He is knocking at your mind. That's why I say the day if you hear his voice, don't harden your mind. Harden your heart. That's your mind. He knocking there with his word. He said, I stand at the door and knock. He won't come in unless you invite him in, brothers and sisters. 
And he said, what if what? Any man hear my voice. If any man hear my voice, go ahead. And open the door. And you got to even open the door of your mind for him. He won't bust in. Go ahead. I will come in to him. I will come in then. Go ahead. And, I, and we'll sup with him. Uh-huh. And he with me. And we're going to commune together. We're going to operate together. We're going to share together. Go ahead. To him that overcometh. Again. Will I... And then once you do that, you got to stay the course and overcome. Go ahead. To him that overcome will I grant to sit with me in my throne, mm -hmm. even as I also overcame. Uh huh. And, and am sat down with my father in his throne. He had to overcome when he was a man. And one last time, what? He that he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Hope you got some understanding in Jesus' name. And we got some regular announcements. Our prayers is that the eyes of your understanding were enlightened by today's lesson. DVDs and CDs of all, of all our lessons are available. Please place your order in the offering box along with your donation and pick your DVDs and CDs up at the podium next Sabbath. Please tune in to Thy Kingdom Come television program, which airs in various locations. Please join us at our other study classes, Question and Answer Bible Study, every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. via conference, via conference call line at 712 432-1620, access code 609910, then hit the pound key. Children's Bible classes ages 4 through 12 every Sabbath at 12 noon. Team Forum Bible classes ages 13 through 19 every Sabbath Saturday at 5 p.m. Please join us every Friday at 8 p.m. for our Bible study class, which will also air on the Internet and Saturday services at 1 p.m. If you feel you are ready to be baptized, please sign the baptismal list at the podium and or speak with Brother Wayne. Following is the dress code for our services. All clothing should be modest in appearance, nothing tight-fitting, overly baggy, sagging, or revealing should be worn. Men are to remove hats and all head coverings, and women should wear a head covering such as a hat or scarf, according to 1 Corinthians 11, 1 through 7. If your young child becomes noisy during the lesson, distracting other members, please remove him or her to the TV monitor area in the, in the rear of the class. Any tithes or free will offerings should be put in an offering envelope and placed in an offering box near the podium. Pray for our strength as we pray for you until the next Sabbath. Peace. Peace. Okay, I'm going to ask one thing. I'm going to ask that uh, <clears throat> the choir do us a favor and come back up and sing that first song again. See, this, this is going to be a <laughs> shock. So, uh, <clears throat> but why, why, they, why they doing that? Because that's the least I can do after keeping you so long. So, uh, but why they doing that? Because we, we know how to do more than just read. It's good to read because you're hearing the voice of the Lord, but we know how to praise the Lord too. But why they doing that? I'm just going to mention a couple of things right quick. And that is, um, I mentioned last night that I was in, uh, went to Tampa early in the week and then end up in Atlanta and hung out with Brother Jedi, Brother Nate for uh, a little few hours on that long journey back. But uh, that was a blessing because I hadn't even met Brother Nate. And Nate, he already had been to Philly once preaching for us. And I hadn't met him, just talked to him on the phone. So that was real good to finally meet him. And uh, matter of fact, Brother Nate is in Philly today uh, preaching the word. So, And that just goes to show you even, you know, we here in Gary, we got other classes, but we got other people like Brother Nate and Brother Jadai in other locations. They live in Atlanta, but they going out preaching the word. So that shows you it's not just us around here that this word is spreading all over. So and I'm thankful to have good brothers. Like we got brothers, you know, of course, around here doing work and laboring. Brother Wayne, he's uh, preaching in Indianapolis today. And uh, we got brothers in L.A., Brother Brian and Brother Fontaine, been holding it down out there. So the Lord bless us with good brothers to carry his word out, and that's, you know, I'm grateful for that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And then lastly, I, I told you last night, I heard from this brother. I, like I said, this brother's in, he's in prison down in Alabama, but I told him I was going to mention him because he fired up about the word, and he, he got him a cell phone. I ain't going to say what prison because they'd be probably do a search on him. 
He got him a cell phone in prison. He be calling me all the time, Brother Elijah, I got a question for you. I be like, this dude is in the joint calling me on the cell phone. <laughs> Brother Roy. So, uh, but he said before he heard the truth, he was using that phone to do all kind of other stuff, try to get women and all kind of stuff. But now he said, man, I be on listening to y'all, I be on the phone, the teleconference, listening to that word. So that, that just shows you what the Lord can do. That's a blessing. And now we're going to let them sing this selection, and then we'll close out. One accord.
stay right there. Praise the Lord. If you wasn't here in the beginning, you see why I had them singing again. We're going to face the rules and close out. Let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven. Our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. On earth. On earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. And the power. And the power. And the glory. And the glory. Forever. Forever. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. For he is good. For he is good. For his mercy shall endure forever. For his mercy shall endure forever. Praise the Lord God of Israel. Praise the Lord God of Israel. For he is good. For he is good. And his mercy shall endure forever. And his mercy shall endure forever. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. The Holy One of Israel. The Holy One of Israel. The one true God. The one true God. And there is no other. And there is no other. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen.
streets of gold
It's gonna be alright Don't you cry Don't you cry Testing one, two, children's choir to the stage, please. Children's choir to the stage. Yeah, can you go to the other one? Can you go take this one back? Children's choir to the stage, please. McCall. Well, Mayaka's not here, so we're going to go over her song. Both of y'all. Children's choir to the stage, please. Children's choir to the stage, girls, please. Get your raps. Boy choir, boys, come to the stage, please, for a quick rehearsal. What your, what your kids going to do? I just wanted her to just come, you know, on a consistent basis. You wanna, you wanna sit, sing today? Okay, you can sing. Children's choir to the stage, please. Get your hair covered, Mama. There you go. Children's choir. Let's make it fast before the adult choir. Let's go. J uh, Jordan, can you go in the back and go get the boys, please? Timothy, Nathaniel, Jalen left. Perez, and I guess that's it. Yes, honey. Go get your cousin. If she can. Yeah. I be practicing the song today. Not your song. I have to. I have to rewrite that again, which means I got to talk to your father. He left. He's coming back to get you. Before you leave, tell me one talk to him. I gotta. I gotta leave with my aunt. Hmm? I gotta leave with my aunt. My mom is coming back though. I got y'all number. I'll call your father. Can we start in about two minutes, please? Boys, let's go. Kids, quiet to the stage. Let's go. Before Sister Tatiana come, let's go. Oh, boy.
Kids choir to the stage, please. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm not waiting. When I tell you all last week, when I say let's go so we can rehearse real fast, that's what I mean. I need someone to open us up right now. Which is one is get ready for the feast song, which is Ferrer's song that he wrote. Get get on and smile on together. Jerry help the little ones out. Get over. I'm sorry, Mama. That's what you said. Okay, okay, okay. Mari, get back. Jordan. We're going to go over Sister Mayor because our Lord. I can't let you Sorry, sorry. Quiet. 
It was my day.
Minutes. I waste like 10-15 minutes treating y'all like little babies. Let's not do that. Gary, 